in this lesson we'll implement a loading screen in our game. So far we've loaded the images that we need for this preloading screen. So we've loaded a bar to be used as a progress bar and a logo to be shown in the middle of the screen, which is the duck. Now what we need to do is actually implement the, the logic of the preload state, which will take care of that part. Our preload state, as the name suggests, will basically preload. And in here, it will load all of the images that we need and all of the assets that we need in our game. So if we go back to game state and go to preload, you can basically get rid of this whole method now because all of the preloading is taking place in the preload state. So we get rid of that and we are putting that in preload state. But before we begin with loading all these images, as I mentioned, we wanted to show a logo. So let's do that. Let's call it let's call it this dot logo. This dot add dot sprite. See how we're just adding a sprite, how we, no we normally do it, and we're doing that in preload. Why can we do that here? Well, because we already have this images image in our memory, so we can you we can just add it as any sprite. So we're doing that in here this.add.sprite, the location um, should be in the center of the world. So we can do that by typing in this.game.world.centerx and then it will be in, in Y, it will be in, in the center as well. So we'll, we'll type this.game.world.center Y and the key of the asset is logo. That's the name that we, that's how we're calling it. Also, we want to um, get the anchor point set to the middle so that it's center 0 0.5. So that will show us the, the anchor point. Let's open that one. So there we go. That's what we have now. That's all that we, we're doing. We are preloading this and then firing up preload state and then that's as far as we have. We're not connecting this yet to game state. Now, what about the progress bar? We need the progress bar. So I'm gonna call this dot, I'm gonna call it this dot preload, um, preload bar equals, uh, it's gonna be a sprite again. We need to add this sprite. This game dot, it's gonna be centered on X, but on Y, it's gonna be just pushed a little bit downwards. Um, let me just grab that value. It is 128, so it's, it's a bit lower. The asset is preload bar. I think that's the name that we gave it. Yeah, that's the correct name. Otherwise, we get an, er an error that says that no asset was found with that key. That's just showing the image. We actually need to Um, there's an error in here, that's why it's showing so much to the left. Yeah, and we actually want to have it centered too. So this dot preload bar dot anchor set to 0 0.5. So now it's centered. And we need to give it the behavior of the progress bar so that it starts like this and then it, 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 uh, it is shown all the way until it's completed. So for that, there's a method in our load object. The load, the same load object that we're using to load images also has a method called set preload sprite. And then we give it the sprite, this dot preload bar. Let's refresh the page. And the reason why, why we're not seeing it, it's because the images are already on the browser's cage. So if you want to force seeing it, you have to clear the cage of your browser. So I'm going to, on my menu on Chrome or Chromium, I'm going to Tools, Clear Browsing Data. It might be different on the operating system you're using, I'm not sure. And then I clear the, the cage. And after I clear the cage, I can see it working. But then I won't see it working just because it's already been loaded, but that doesn't mean that it's not happening. And what, what are we going to do once this process ends? 
Well, then simply we can um, we can call we can um, launch the state for our game or for our loading loading screen. Let's do it first. We should have a semicolon there. Let's do it first for our game for game state. And we can barely see it just because it's so fast and it's already been loaded. But if if the assets were loaded from somewhere else, it would take a while and you'd see the progress bar. But anyway, it works. And what we um, do what we need to do in the next video is instead of instead of launching game state, we're going to launch home state. That will be our home screen. So to summarize, our preload, our loading screen, it simply shows different things. It can show a logo, a background. Then you put the you put the uh, progress bar in its final position. And then you set it as a preload sprite. That will do it. Uh, Facer will crop it and it will start showing it all the way until it's complete. And so you've set this up, and then you also have to put all the actual loading because the reason why we created this was because we did want to do all the loading here. So the loading should all be gone from the game state. And then once the loading ends, that's when you can launch your game, your home screen, or whichever uh, phase of your game comes next.